Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm showing guys something I've been working on for the past few months. So actually I'm opening an ice cream store. Okay, so after like two long months of like licensing and our innovation got some delay. So we are finally have our shop ready. I wanted to keep the location private at first because uh, due to like all this paperwork stuff. Now that we are finally done with that, my shop is located at right smack in Chinatown. So actually we are at Temple Street right now. It is pretty near Chinatown MRT. So it's also pretty cool to open an ice cream shop uh, right in the middle of Chinatown. Because I don't really see much dessert shop um, in this area. Let's go back to the renovation montage. So right now we are like still doing the tiling work. And here are my colleagues working on the whole ID. So actually we got Evan. <laughs> so actually we got Evan uh, help us on this thing. So here's like the proposed design. So we expect to fit about like 50 packs here. So here'll be like the uh, walkway. This uh the other thing is in a pretty bad condition now. Kitchen is a mess. So we're running on a pretty tight schedule as well. But let's see. So we're here now at our central kitchen. So I'm wearing a mask for like hygiene purposes. So let me give you guys a tour. So actually here we uh, hand carve our ice cream. So we'll do it first, like for the flavors. Let me explain it please. Yeah, so this is our hojicha mochi. So we are putting the hojicha powder as well as the ice cream ingredients inside. Yeah, so um, after it's done, we will store it here. Okay, so this is like uh, ready to serve. This is a caramel flavor. So I'm going to try like sample one scoop. So it tastes um, very creamy and a slight uh, biscoff flavour. I think you should come try it for yourself. We're like, almost done with renovation right now. It's been almost two months, so like, it's how my shop looks like currently. We should cut like the colourful, you know, colourful vibe. Maybe let me show you guys uh, a scoop. Maybe I'll try to scoop my screen for you guys and you see how it's like. Okay, so I gotta wear a mask and glove for like hygiene purposes. There's no like standard operation procedures. Okay, I'm still learning to scoop the perfect scoop. <laughs> so this is like a uh, roche, one of my favorite flavors. I guess I'm pretty excited because like, this is something I've been envisioning since the start of the year. To finally see it come to life is pretty uh, mind blowing. Like something I always dream of uh, being part of a FMB business. So I'm quite happy that it's almost coming to life. You know, it's coming came to life and everything's almost operational. I really can't wait to see how this venture unfolds. So actually apart from hammock gelato, we also sell like uh, waffles, like uh, panda waffle and also Belgian waffle. And we also have like our in-house tea and coffee, which is like um, our specialty. No, actually ice cream is our specialty. So it's like kind of like a bonus, I guess. Let me show you guys what happens uh, behind the kitchen. Fast forward for a little bit. So we're to here at my store today for a soft launch. So we can take a look. We have some fans over to try out my stream and give us some reviews. But our official opening date will be on 6th of September, which is like 6 9 you know why. So like, let's get their reviews now. So yeah. this is Violet. Uh, yeah. So what's your, what's your favorite flavor so far? Um, I like the ocean blue. Ocean blue. Come can back soon again. I yeah. will, I will. Yeah. Hi, my name is Augustine. Don't be shy. So what do you think about ice cream today? Good. Nice. So which flavor will you recommend? Uh, the I saw you tasting like many flavors earlier on. Like, yeah. You taste like most half the flavors that we serve. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Were you very hungry? No, I'm not But it's very nice. So I bought Cheryl here as well to try the ice cream. So, which one is your favorite flavor? I think I like the one, the, the one the with one the biscoff. Up. I think it's called Vanilla Madagascar Biscoff, something yeah, like that. Right. But like, the biscoff is like spread evenly. It's like the Lotus Biscuit. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of. I'm not hungry in Kampai. Yeah, I know. No, no, 10 out of 10, honestly. Like, 10 for the effort, you know. And also, it tastes good. I think the ice cream is very creamy. It's made by me. And, 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 oh my god. I mean, he's worked pretty hard on it for a long time. So, do come down and check it out. So, we're opening tomorrow. So, before that, we're doing a media launch. So, we invite some of my media friends or like uh, writers to like interview me about my shop, find out more about what I'm doing and try out some ice cream, most importantly. They're taking some photos right now. I'll link some articles down below as well in this video. Some uh, reviews of my inquiries. So right now we have like a writer uh, knowing more about our store, writing some food re reviews. So sure you can see there's a photograph outside. So they'll be in the scene of like a uh, day in my life, I guess. So we had like four interviews, so I'm very tired. And actually, I'm not complaining. I'm quite grateful for this. I mean, I'm happy that they approached me. So this is the last one before I finally head back to rest.
So recently I've been like, I like this flavor called uh, coconut sorbet. So it's like uh, water based, so it's not very, I guess there's like low calories because there's no milk inside. We don't use much sugar for that, so I would say that's my favorite flavor now because it's very easy to eat and light on the stomach. Bring some ice cream, you know. And you've got time job. It's not my part time job, okay? I'm just helping, helping out. out. Do you enjoy scooping ice cream? I actually do. It's very therapeutic. Like, I used to do this all the time when I was in Melbourne, and like, it's so fun. I guess uh, many of you will be asking me um, why ice cream, you know, of everything. So, actually, since I stopped doing only events for some time, I always thought of uh, starting a new business and doing something from like the fame I got online you know but at the same time so I met some friends and they threw me to the founders of another ice cream shop that was when I had the idea of like collaborating with them and starting a mini cafe because I always wanted a, to start an FMB business and we have been working on this since early this year like March April so we discussed and we liked the ice cream so we decided to build it do some R&D create some flavors and fast forward six months later we have a store now. Also, why only creameries? Because you know, I'm an only fans creator, so I think you should know the name. You know, only creameries, only fans. You know, in the color. And I wanted to have a place that anyone, anybody can come, be themselves, have a pleasant experience, or just talk over coffee and ice cream. I host my friends there, have events there. It's more like a gathering space. You know, like no alcohol but ice cream. So actually, we took some time to design and finalize the logo as well. I mean, we went from like this. Only Creamery's Cinder Classic Black and Tiffany Blue when some a bit colourful but um, after a while we decided changing to like more rainbow so we did finally we decided to stick on like ice cream cone and ice cream cause like it says O and C which is our logo okay. so the story time so when we were finding location we actually changed location three times so actually we wanted somewhere central in, uh, in Singapore so we were like looking around like Pagoda Street so then I set up our offer of like a uh, Delphi in the first place but someone else offered much higher most probably a company to like uh, rent over the place and kind of stole our lease so it's, that's fine so we just move on and search for other location so we, we found one just across that's one street across which was Temple Street so this place so this uh, new unit at Temple Street we kind of like the layout, it's like very squarish and big and it's quite deep also Okay, so here's a floor plan Let me insert a screenshot Okay And I kind of like this layout because like it's big and it fits about like 50 or 60 packs so it's like the perfect size to host events or like have uh, people come down to try some ice cream have some waffles, you know The interior design, we made it such that they are like a, it's like from a low rise to a high rise setting so you can see the tables from the the tables here are like lower to like um, higher and the ordering area so we cater to like small groups of two up to like groups of ten just enjoy and be with company right there so actually you can see in my store ID I insert a photo right here so actually on the colorful side of the wall so we chose like three colors theme running across that entire side that's like a triangle shape round shape no circle shape and a four squares so actually it represents a cone, ice cream, and a waffle. <laughs> which is what we sell. And the last side of the wall is quite simple and minimalistic because it's like just grey and very clean look. So here's a photo to show you guys. I guess most of you are very curious how many flavors, what flavors do we have. So we have up to 18 flavors. We also have like um, dairy free options and also vegan options because we want everyone to have something they like, you know. And let me know if you guys want to see a new flavor down below. I'll try to create them and serve it in my store. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And if you're free, maybe do come down to check out my new venture. And I hope you guys like it as much as I do. And I can't wait to see you guys here. And see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>